Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the third episode in my summer entertaining series. Last week, I shared with you guys some easy kind of healthy cocktails. The week before that, some easy healthy appetizers. And today we have some easy kind of healthy desserts that I think you guys are absolutely gonna love. Try them out this weekend. They're all really simple, quick, and you can put them together in no time. So what we're gonna do is a bunch of different variations on s'mores. We have some homemade peanut butter cups that are a little bit healthier. I've shared those on Instagram stories and you guys really wanted to know exactly how I made them. And then we have this really pretty festive summer berry trifle. So if you guys wanna see exactly how to make these desserts, then just keep watching. The first dessert we're gonna make today is a summer berry trifle. This is gonna be so pretty for a 4th of July festivity because you have the blueberries and the strawberries and the white, so it's kind of like a little red, white, and blue theme. This is just Cool Whip. You can use dairy-free or regular Cool Whip, whatever you like. This is angel food cake, and then we also have some vanilla pudding, so it's kind of like a little low calorie treat that I think everyone will like. It's gonna have the fresh from the berries. So the first thing we're gonna do is layer the angel food cake on the bottom. And I think it'll be really pretty in this clear dish. You could also do it in like a clear cup. I'm gonna do it in this big container so you guys can see it really well. And then for the second layer, I'm just gonna pour the pudding right on top of the cake. Or scoop the pudding. Then I'm going to layer on some of the fruit. So we're just going to do a mix of berries. You could probably do whatever berries you want. The strawberries and the blueberries are just going to be really pretty. We'll mix them together. <music> Lastly, I'm going to layer the Cool Whip on top and then we'll just repeat the process, fill up your whole container and you can make it look really pretty. final result we put a couple little berries and some blueberries on top strawberries and blueberries just for decoration but I think it looks really pretty doing it in this clear dish really makes it like a nice presentation you guys should try this out I thought it'd probably be an easy one to have your kids help you out with too a great way to incorporate some fruits and it's really pretty for fourth of July if you try it out this weekend so for the second recipe my friend Sam has been making these during quarantine and I think they looked so good i thought they looked so good so i tried them out one night they're really easy kind of like healthy reese's cups they're not really healthy but we can just pretend and make ourselves feel better and they taste really really good so what you need is like a little mini muffin tray to make like the little bite-sized reese's cups or i guess peanut butter cups and then some chocolate chips I personally love this brand, Enjoy Life. It's one of my favorites for like a dairy-free chocolate chip and they still taste really good. You're also gonna need some peanut butter, of course, some coconut oil. This just helps everything be a little more liquidy and like easy to pour into the tin. And then some vanilla extract and I like to top it with some flaky sea salt. So what you're gonna do first is pour some chocolate chips, coconut oil, and vanilla extract into your pot and then heat it up on the stove to melt down the chocolate chips. My next little idea here is to do a s'mores bar. I think this could be really fun and there are so many different variations you could do. So I thought it'd be pretty if you kind of like set it up and had it kind of grab and go and people could make different ones that they want to make. So first up we have graham crackers, chocolate and marshmallows, of course, with the classic s'more, but we also have chocolate chip cookies. You could buy these at the store or make them yourself. If you want to do that with the chocolate and the marshmallow, it would be so good. Or you could even do the little peanut butter cups. So the ones that I made are still in the freezer right now, but I would have used those. I have regular ones here too. And then this is what I'm really excited about. I love brownie brittle. 
This is gonna be so good. You could do the chocolate as well with the marshmallows. And then also you can add some strawberries with the chocolate and just do like a regular s'more with the chocolate strawberry. It would be so good. So I'm gonna make a couple of these and share with you what they look like. If you guys have any recommendations for fun little s'more pairings that you do, make sure to let me know in the comments. cute little setup I went ahead and put the extra supplies at the bottom you could always do it like on a little cutting board like I have here but we have all the s'mores made up I got close-ups of everything you guys these look so good I cannot wait to dive into some of these I think the brownie brittle one is gonna be my favorite but definitely try them out I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you try out some of these recipes I hope you guys all have a great weekend if you haven't seen my other videos last week I did one on easy kind of healthy cocktail recipes and the week before that easy healthy appetizer idea so you have everything you need to plan and host a really fun party this summer please subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys next time bye